Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Having a really great day. I have just learned there is now a firmware update, an overclock update for the KS1s and also the KS2s, but it's behind a paywall and you have to pay for it in order to get the new firmware update. And it's tied to the MAC address of the device. You're gonna have to give them the MAC address in order to get this new update to achieve about 1.25, I think you can go up to 1.45 terahash apparently. And then for the KS2, which I do have, but it's an engineering sample, I'm gonna attempt that later on, uh, not in this video, but in another one, that the KS2 can do 2.5 terahash. So this iServer KS1 I have right now is doing one terahash at around 622, 23 watts. And at the pool, which I will verify later, okay, I'm doing about 976 giga hash right now on two miners. Okay, so later on, all right, throughout this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna update it. It's actually very easy, it's through the web GUI. And also, just a quick update, the KS0 has a new update as well. You can also update through the web GUI on your KS0. You don't have to do the Eclipse method or anything like that, much faster, easier method if you want to update your KS0, which is a free download. Everyone, we've seen the videos. Uh, I've done the video already, but that's kind of like the old method now. The web GUI wet method is much faster, but again, you're gonna need to update and get a new power supply, okay? 100% needed from the 90 watt stock because it's using more than 90 watts, okay? I'm, I'm using about 111, 112 watts at the wall for my KS0. But anyways guys, for the KS1 or KS2 overclock, uh, if you wanna get that firmware done, you're gonna wanna come to my Discord, link down below, and you wanna contact T-Swift, or just go to my ASIC chat, okay? There's a general ASIC chat that you can ask in there, and he will be in there if you are interested. The price for the KS1 firmware is gonna be $40 or 800 CASPA, and if you want the KS2 one, if, if you have a KS2, it's gonna be $80 or 1600 CASPA. Anyways, let's go into the computer. I will show you guys how to update the firmware through the web GUI, extremely easy. And then I'll show you guys the results here, how much more power we're gonna use. I think we're gonna go up to 800 to 850 watts for 1.25 terahash. So we'll see that in a sec. I'll see you guys in the computer. Okay. Here is my KS0. I'm in the web GUI. Okay, this is where I, you know, change all the mining settings, pool settings and whatnot. And this is where there's the firmware upgrade button in the web GUI. Okay, so much easier uh, this time to do this. So I'm gonna select the file and this is the file that T-Swift has sent me. So when you guys talk with him, he will send you a download link to download your specific uh, encrypted, I guess, due to the MAC address, uh, tied to the device. Okay, so uh, he said apparently this one can't be copied. Uh, his developer friend, uh, Chinese developer friend who uh, created this in the first place, I mean, his name is XYYZ. He is the gentleman who has started this whole thing, all right, has been working on this for uh, quite a while. And so now, okay, I'm just gonna simply right click. I'm gonna use my 7-zip extracted. I uh, did that. I'm gonna go into the folder now. And you guys will see here, there's three different update files okay so there's actually a 1.25 terahash overclock a 1.35 terahash overclock and then a 1.45 terahash overclock now t swift told me that this may be okay for some people and not for some others depends on the model silicon lottery you know but recommended is only to do the 1.25 really to do any of these do these at your own risk but for this demonstration, I'm just going to do the 1.25 uh, terahash. So I'm going to hit open. It's going to go here. I'm going to hit update. And it's going to do its thing. And it should take less than 10 seconds here. I'm going to do this in real time. I'm actually curious to see how long this, this actually takes. It should be less than 10, 15 seconds for it to update. It'll say complete here in a second. Yeah, there you go. Operation succeeded. I'm going to press OK. Confirm restarting the mining machine. Press OK. And it says operation succeeded. OK, so 
we're, we're gonna let this thing come back up here and uh we'll just do this in real time uh just talk about real quick here so i before i guess you guys also do this i also updated version okay so on the ice rivers website there is a firmware download here for their stock firmware. Okay, and also this is for if you want to go back to stock, if you're not comfortable running your KS0, you know, with this, you know, overclock method, then you can simply go to the ice server's website, download your firmware specific, and uh, uh, just apply the firmware just by going to the firmware upgrade tab in the web GUI. Okay, so if you want to do that, feel free. I just went ahead, updated it to the latest version uh, before I did the overclock. Now, before it also comes up, I just want to take note, the current network hash rate for Caspa is oh, all time high, still continues to go up 31.29 heta hash. So as more and more people figure out or get this overclock, okay, also for their KS zeros, that it's going to just climb higher and higher. And you know, whether or not more people, more of the KS threes are going to be shipped out, are we going to hit up 40, probably 40 petahash. And then I think by the end of October, November or November sometime, I think we're going to hit like what 45, 50 petahash or something, because there's also been the talk of the wind miner K9 being manufactured. I've heard through the grapevine that there's going to be about 800 of those units. So that's, oof, it's going to be a lot of hash rate coming on. Now, uh, one quick thing is, okay, now, for everyone that's going to be doing this, you know, overclock firmware, okay, new update, there is going to be a bit of downside in terms of efficiency, just, just a bit, not a, not a lot, but just a little bit. Okay. If you were to compare it to, I don't know, running it stock or running it, you know, yeah, just stock firmware, you are losing a bit more efficiency, but of course you are gaining more hash rate. So in that case, you are making more money in theory, uh, but you're probably spending just a little bit more in power. It's really not that much in comparison to how much more hash rate you're gaining. Okay. So yeah, I mean, yeah, my KS1, if it's going to do at uh, 1.25, around 850 watts, we'll verify that in a second, then it's 0 0.68 watt per hash versus my 0 0.62. Okay. So efficiency, really not that big of a difference. Anyways, we're going to see if this changes at the pool. Okay. Just to show you here, I'm at 1.01 terahash. Okay. On my two miners here. And maybe just a quick update, you know, I've ran this thing for about, what, a month and a half, almost two months. I think I've I mined almost 40,000 Caspa on this thing. Okay, let's go back to my KS1, see if it updated. Looks like it's been running now for the past two minutes. And it uh, looks like we found some accepted shares. Looks like this hasn't updated on the web GUI, but I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to let this run a bit. And then I'm going to see what the, the power consumption, also temperatures and all that, what, all that stuff. Once this runs for a good 10 minutes or something. Okay, so I'll see you guys downstairs. We'll see what the result is. Okay, I've been running for the past two hours. All right, this thing's been running at 808 watts. All right, the fan speed is... Uh, pretty loud it's actually running pretty hot i had to up the fan speed i have been playing around uh with the fan speed with this thing but look at this yeah average hash rate the past 30 minutes is about 1.224 terahash okay or 1224 giga hash all right past two hours roughly and here are the temps here okay the temps did go up to 50 celsius at one point but it's because the fan speeds were we're showing about 25. So I set it to about 80. And so obviously it's it's much louder, but it's much, you know, the temperatures are much lower. All right, so 36, uh, 35, 37 uh, degrees Celsius, temp two. Temp one is really low, 25. The ambient temps in my area here is about 75 Fahrenheit, okay? And then at the pool, it's gone up. But let me refresh here just to show you guys. Yeah, 1.2 terahash is current hash rate. Obviously, I haven't run past 24, uh, 24 hours. But the past, uh, let's say, six hours hash rate looks like it has gone up according to the chart here on two miners. So it's it's been it's been good. It's been working. Yeah, I'm not getting 1,250. Uh, maybe maybe over the course of the next 24 hours I will but we are showing an increased power consumption and of course hash rate so this does work and I was just reading the Caspa discord that uh, somebody may 
have may have a free way uh, for the KS1 and KS2 update, update. So if you want to get this firmware update now, then uh, you got to pay for it. But if you don't, then I think uh, somebody may come out with the free version similar to what the uh, KS0 has had recently. Okay, so if you guys want it, link down below to Discord. And uh, if you want to speak with T Swift on this, as well as his buddy XYYZ, uh, XYYS, uh, they're working together. He is the developer that has figured it out. And so, yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know down below. So it's not 850 watts, it's 808. Well, for me. Okay, so I'm guessing because Silicon Lottery is gonna play a huge role. Okay, and uh, environment and temperatures play the part as well. So if you're gonna do this yourself, just be sure. Okay, just uh, set your fan speeds. You do that in the mining, uh, miner setting tab here, mining setting. And I did that over here, okay? I had to hit the checkbox and then change the number. I have, I have it manually set at 80. Okay, that's why my temps are uh, nice and low now, okay? So, that's it guys, look at that. The firmware name at the bottom changed to, uh, to XYZ, XYYS at the bottom here, Discord. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, but hey, there you go. 1,223 giga hash, 1 1.2 tera hash, okay? All right, that's it guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys are gonna try this. Link down below and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Uh, my KS0 laptop brick is not that bad. This is not bad. I have the 230 watt version. Also, anyone that has a KS0, I want to know your thoughts if your laptop brick is nice and toasty. For those that have the 120 or the 180, okay, let me know down below.